Senator Cordy. Thank you, Speaker. Honourable Senators, on November 20th, we all received the shocking and sad news that our colleague and friend, Senator José Foré Nissing, had passed away. She was only 56. Appointed in 2018, Senator Foré Nissing only served in the Senate for a little over three years, but in those three years, it was clear to anyone who met her that she brought to this chamber a real passion and a, de and a dedication to get things done. Senators Busson and Griffin and I had the pleasure of serving on the Senate Committee's mandate working group with Jose. We were a small group and worked closely together over several months to produce recommendations and ideas on how to best update our committee mandates. One of our working group meetings was the last time I spoke to Jose. She was very ill at the time, but insisted on taking part in the meeting's discussions with the video off from her bed. She passed away only days later. Unfortunately, Senator Foray Nissing was not with us when we completed our final report and presented it to the Senate Rules, Procedures and Rights of Parliament Committee. Colleagues, Jose's passing is the loss of a strong voice in this chamber as an advocate for minority language communities. She defended access to justice and to public service in both official languages and in sign language. Her advocacy for Indigenous communities will also remain a part of her legacy. So many from her community have spoken, honouring the impact that she has made over her lifetime of public service. This lifetime of service and experience would have only further enriched our work here in the Senate. We will miss her friendship, her wonderful smile, as well as her valuable contributions to our work here in the Senate. Jose had so much to offer and left us far too soon. On behalf of the Progressive Senate Group, I wish to extend our deepest sympathies to Jose's husband, Robert, and to all of her family and friends. Thank you.